um, the aim of the devil is not to collect your spiritual gift. You know, some of us, we are scared. Well, I don't want to lose my spiritual gift. You know, the primary aim of the devil is not to collect your spiritual gift. The devil's plan is to corrupt it. Not to collect, but to corrupt it. Now, when he corrupts your spiritual gift, the gift will still be there. But you just discover now you are using it to the glory of yourself. You are now the one benefiting from God's investment. And then God is now losing. There are some people, the gift they have is given to them by God. But God, the giver, is no longer benefiting from it. Now listen to me. The moment you get to that point where God is no longer benefiting from your gift, is a sign that that thing has been corrupted. Because if your gift has not been corrupted, then the giver must continually make profit from it. You must understand the strategy of the devil so that you can guard. You can guard what you have. The devil is not planning to take your gift from you. The plan is to corrupt it. So while you have it, you will not use it to the glory of God. You begin to use it for yourself. The moment you are you begin to use God's gift for yourself only, then you have corrupted it. That flow has been corrupted. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please take note of that. Are you there? Whatever God has given to you, if you are, if you can draw, you are you know you are very good in drawing. Draw to the glory of God. If you can write, write to the glory of God. If you are a singer, sing. To the glory of God. Either if you can preach, preach to the glory of God. Every God given gift must be used for the glory of God. And how the devil corrupts um, our spiritual gift is by giving us a wrong belief system. It makes you believe the wrong thing. And the moment you believe the wrong thing, you begin to act in the opposite direction. Either the moment you believe the wrong thing, you, be, you begin to use what you have in the wrong way. May the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus. Jesus.